broken world. Do you guys know that? Yeah. How do you see brokenness? What? What? There's sin. Sin. What else? Addiction. Addiction. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Bad news. Bad news. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of stuff happening around. So our world is broken, right? And but that's not the way God created it, did He? He didn't create the world that way. No. God created the world in His perfect design, right? His perfect design is over here. Dan's going to tell us a little bit about his perfect design when he first created the world. So, yeah, he created the world perfect and whole, right? And um, that's what he wanted at the beginning. And, and you can look around and still see beauty even in the brokenness, right? You can see a sunset, beautiful sunset, um, you know, love of a parent for their child. Um, but what happened was we ran the from first, God. Right. The first human beings right? They decided to go their own way. Didn't they do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do we call that when they did that? Sin. 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 Right, right, yeah. right. You guys said it. Right. It's sin. So they decided, they chose to walk away from God's perfect design. Do you guys ever do that? You choose to walk away from his perfect design and you come over here into brokenness. Right? So, so there's a problem. Dave's right. going to tell you about the problem, which so, I think you know. Yeah. So what do we do in life to try to get out of this brokenness? How right? do you get out of brokenness? Like maybe we'll do, you know, a career. We'll, we'll take on a career. Job. Job, you know. Maybe a relationship. You maybe know. relationships. Maybe some, you know, unholy relationships, right? right. Drug addiction. Yeah. Or addictions, right? Addiction. Been there, done that. You know, um, or maybe even religion, right? And it's not saying religion is bad, but we use these things to try to escape from this brokenness. But what ends up happening is these things just kind of, they're really temporary. They end up snapping us back like a bungee cord, right? And we're still stuck in that brokenness. Yeah, we're stuck now, in brokenness. Now, if we die in this brokenness, we're eternally separated. Do you guys know what that's called? What's that called? We're separated from God. It's hell. Though. Hell, yeah. right? And there's a lot of people living in hell right now, right? I mean, people like alive that are living in hell, right? Okay. But if we die in that, that that's called hell. But, yeah. But there's good news. Good news. Because Jesus didn't want us to get stuck over here. So this, God, this is the, this third, is the third circle, circle yeah. sent his son, Jesus, into the earth who died on the cross for our sins, and then he rose to heaven, right? And he took the sin penalty, and he like, he like crushed sin. He yeah. like crushed it, he canceled it, right? Canceled he that. took, he was sinless, and he took all of our sin, right? So he provided the solution. And the solution is, what he wants, is he wants us to pray, that's, my artwork. So that's, you know, he wants us to pray, to turn, repent, and believe in him. And make Jesus Lord and King of our lives. Yes. You know what happens when you make Jesus Lord and King of your life? Go what ahead. happens? You guys have an idea about that? When, after, you, after you invite him in, you say, you know, you make him Lord and King, you become what? A brand new person, a brand new creation. You're just like brand new. He makes you brand new. And you get restored back into God's perfect design. Even though the world's not perfect, you're back here. In because God's you love. received the love of Christ. So, um, And there's only two, two kinds of people, right? People two that kinds are, of people in the world. The people that are in brokenness and people that are in God's love. So, which are you in? Where are you? Love, love, right? Okay, now, there might be somebody who might be here and like, man, I'm over here in brokenness. Or you could be somewhere in between. Right, I'm in brokenness, and... Where would you want to be? Yeah. A lot of people want to be here. Right, in God's So, love. if you're with somebody and you're sharing this, and they're like, you know, uh... Which circle do you want to be in? Well, I want to be over here. Then you ask them, is there anything in the way that anything is preventing you from turning, repenting, and believing and allowing 
want Jesus to become Lord of your life, is there anything in your way? And some people might say, um, you know, stubbornness or uh, other things or, or whatever. But you ask them, are you ready to make a decision? And a lot of people will say yes at this point. And then you can just say, look, just simple prayer. God, I'm tired of doing things my way. I repent. I want to do things your way. I thank you that you died for me on the cross, that you took away my sin, and I want to invite you to be my Lord and King. Will you come into my life right now? Amen. 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 And that